Here is the rear model. All of this, the entire thing, top to bottom, is the Oracle. Just the top part is the Helix. Just the bottom part here is the Lobule. And then this space here is the external auditory canal. And all of that, external auditory canal up, is the external ear. Then if we go right in there, there's this tiny little membrane that you can kind of see. That is the tympanic membrane. So right in here, tympanic membrane, tympanic membrane. All right, this whole area here is the middle ear with the auditory tube that connects to the pharynx. In the middle ear are three teeny tiny bones. We've got the malleus, the contacts of the tympanic membrane. We've got the incus. And then right over here, this is the stapes. So malleus, incus, stapes. And that brings us to this bony structure here. This is the internal ear. It has the semicircular canals. Semicircular canals each have an ampulla, a widened area. So semicircular canal, ampulla. We have this middle region here. This middle area here is the vestibule. It includes the oval window. So where you see the stapes, the stapes is actually fitting into the oval window. And then down here, that little circle is the round window. And then this here is the vestibulocochlear nerve. This snail shell here is the cochlea. When you look inside the cochlea, you see that orange layers. The orange layers are the scala vestibuli. The white layer is the cochlear duct, and the blue layer is the scala tympani. So again, orange layer, scala vestibuli. Oh, get in focus. Uh, white layer, cochlear duct, blue layer, scala tympani, and that is it.